When we return some view for our body, we mean one specific type that conforms to the view protocol. That might be a navigation view, a form, a text view, a picker, or something else entirely, but it's always exactly one thing that conforms to the view protocol. If you want to return multiple things, we have various options, but three are particularly useful. They are HStack, VStack, and ZStack, or ZStack, which handle horizontal, vertical, and uh, Zepth. Let's try it out now. Our default template looks like this. That returns precisely one kind of view, which is a text view. If you wanted to return two text views, this kind of code simply isn't allowed. Text, this is another text view. Instead, we need to make sure SwiftUI gets exactly one kind of view back, and that's where stacks come in. They allow us to say, here are two text views, and I want them to be positioned like this. So, for VStack, a vertical stack of views, the two text views will be placed one above the other, like this. By default, VStack places little or no spacing between the two text views, but we can control the spacing by providing a parameter when we create the stack, like this. VStack, spacing 20. Just like SwiftUI's other views, VStack can have a maximum of 10 children. If you want to add more, you should wrap them inside a group. By default, VStack aligns its views so they're centered, but you can control that with its alignment property. For example, if we say alignment leading, it aligns the text views to the leading edge, which in a left to right language like English will cause them to be aligned to the left. Alongside VStack, we have HStack for arranging things horizontally. This has the same syntax as VStack, including the ability to add spacing and alignment. We can say HStack spacing 20. Vertical and horizontal stacks automatically fit their content and prefer to align themselves to the center of the available space. If you want to change that, you can use one or more spacer views to push the content of your stack to one side. These automatically take up all the remaining space. So if you add one at the end of a V stack, it will push all your views to the top of the screen. If you add more than one spacer, they'll divide the available space between them. We also have Z stack for arranging things by depth. It makes views that overlap. In the case of our two text views, this will make things rather hard to read. Z stack doesn't have the concept of spacing because the views overlap, but it does have alignment. So if you have one large thing and one small thing inside your Z stack, you could make both views aligned to the top like this, Z stack alignment dot top. Z stack draws its contents from top to bottom back to front. This means if you have an image, then some text, ZStack will draw them in that order, placing the text on top of the image. Try placing several horizontal stacks inside a single vertical stack. Try to make a three by three grid. 